The other day I was walking my dog and one of my neighbors, a woman down the street, was also walking her dog and we got into some conversation there in the streets. And I was talking to her about uh, church, worship, and uh, life in the church. And she said to me, uh, people are always searching for the truth. People are always searching for the truth. That's a little bit uh, what we would like to speak about here in this uh, devotional. People are always looking for the truth. I'm Pastor Richard Krause coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Good to bring you the word of our Lord. The word of our Lord today is taken from 2 Timothy, and we're going to look at chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. And here is what uh, Paul writes to his young co-worker, Timothy. What you heard from me, keep as the pattern of sound teaching, with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you, Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. People are always looking for truth. Sometimes I feel a little bit skeptical, maybe like Pontius Pilate, who raises a question to Jesus there. What is truth? What is truth? We used to watch the news and think we were getting truth. Now we know uh, that uh, people have their own version of the truth. People don't trust what politicians may have to say. They don't trust what newscasters may have to say. We don't necessarily trust what our neighbors have to say. What is truth? I think that is a profound question. I was talking to a high school teacher the other day, and they said that's especially true of young people today. They don't know what to believe. They don't know where to turn. Now here's Paul, he's speaking to his young co-worker, Timothy, and he reminds Timothy of his background. He talks to Timothy about sound teaching. He goes, remember the teachings about Jesus Christ that you learn first from your grandmother, Lois, and from your mother, Eunice. Remember who taught you these things. Remember the things you learned as a young child from the very beginning of your earthly life. Your grandmother who loved you, your mother who loved you, they taught you the truths of the faith. They taught you sound teaching. What is sound teaching? Another way to translate this would be to say they taught you healthy teaching, healthy doctrine. A number of years ago, I attended a class at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and it was for people who were chronically ill. And I found the class rather interesting. I tried to, excuse me, absorb everything that was spoken about there. And uh, they made three points. You know, the first point they they spoke about is that when it comes to health issues, so much of that is out of our control. If you have a terrible disease, Parkinson's or who knows what else, if uh, you can't uh, control your bodily functions or actions, um, it's unfortunate, but there's not much you can do about that. But there are things that you can control. And what they said was that there were especially three things that you could control. You can control your diet. You can find out what is good food and not such good food and what especially is going to help you in your particular malady. And uh, they also spoke about exercise. They said that exercise was important. You didn't have to go out and run 10 miles, but depending on your situation, Maybe you should start with uh, five minutes or three minutes or whatever you can do and get some exercise. Do some stretching exercises. Uh, do some things that are especially going to help you in your predicament and add another minute the next day and another minute after that. Start out small. 
and uh, try to conquer those small goals and then go on to the next one a little bit more every day. And then the third thing that they spoke about, and they emphasized that probably this is the most important thing, is sleep. You need to get enough sleep at night. You need to get good sleep at night. They talked about not watching TV or the computer, turning that off already in the late afternoon, because all those things disturb your sleep. Turn off the lights. Go to bed. Don't fall asleep in the couch or whatever else. Huh? They talked about getting good sleep. Well, here Paul is talking to young Timothy, and he says, you need to have healthy doctrines, healthy teachings. You learn those from your grandmother, you learn those from your mother, and now you are learning them from me. Put them into practice. Live these things that you have learned. You know, sometimes there's a little bit of a disdain. Uh, well, we believe in Jesus, but don't talk to me about all those other teachings in the Bible. But of course, Paul here is talking about a whole pattern of healthy teaching, healthy doctrine. What doctrines are important? Well, obviously, the doctrine that we're saved by Jesus' life and death and resurrection. But of course, Jesus gave us all sorts of different teachings in all sorts of different areas. He wants us to grow and mature. He wants us to get past having a milk diet and be eating meat, the meat of God's word, the meat of his teachings. That's what Paul is speaking about. And so think about this, meditate on this. The Lord is speaking to us too, and he wants us to grow more and more into healthy doctrine, healthy teachings, just as Timothy did in his life of service to his Savior.